end of Asa's reign was continual war. Jehoshaphat's reign brought peace. He had the Philistines bringing him gifts. What caused the turnaround? What wise thing did Jehoshaphat do? He taught the people the law of the Lord. He sent out priests, Levites, and his officials to make sure the people knew the law of the Lord. We're told the fear of the Lord fell, but it doesn't say it fell on the people of Judah. Sometimes when the law is read, there is fear. They know they haven't been walking in it, and there's weeping and a cry for mercy, which God gives. That's not what's described here, so it seems it was more Asa before that had turned from the Lord and not the people of Judah with him. The people of Judah are holding on to God's word, putting it in their hearts and minds. God responds. The fear of the Lord falls on all the kingdoms surrounding Judah. Wars end. There is peace. God blesses Jehoshaphat and Judah, and they build fortresses and store cities. He increases their army and mighty men. It's not so that they can be their own defenders and providers. It's not so they can fight for themselves. God doesn't bless us so that we'll turn from him and start relying on our own strength. That's the danger of blessing. We can stop recognizing our need for the Lord in everything. That doesn't happen in our story today. They are being blessed by the Lord, and they have a period of rest and rebuilding, a gift from the Lord. And they received the blessing because they turned to God's word. They made a concerted effort to learn God's laws and to teach them to each other. If you're struggling with anything, the answer is in the book. There's only one book to turn to. The word of God is a source for your life. It will shed light on the way you should go. It will revive your soul. It will bring peace.